will be starting uh, YouTube to uh, document or cover my experience, my life over here. And uh, I think it's time. Really, when I first got here, I wasn't going nowhere. And uh, now I decided, finally, I've been to the mall a couple of times. I'm going to take y'all with me next time I go. I'm planning soon to go to the pyramids. So that's definitely uh, something I want to capture and share with y'all. I'm um, going to the market. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot coming up. <clears throat> And I'm so excited, and I just can't wait to feel. So stay tuned for the rest. I'm currently losing some light right now. I got the, uh, but like I said, I want to uh, cover my journey, and I'm going to give y'all a quick story time. It might not be that quick, but uh, I'm going to try to give y'all some details and all that. But uh, graduated in uh, 2015. Torrey Pines High School. Then after graduating, I received the scholarship. This was kind of late in a way, I guess, but it still came. Coach reached out to me, said I got a full scholarship. So me, I, I'm not going to turn down a, you know, an opportunity to continue my uh, basketball career. So I got a scholarship to Eastern Arizona College it's a junior college, National JC, uh, out in Thatcher, Arizona. Shout out to everybody that went to EAC. Uh, I had a great experience, great time. You know, I did one year there, didn't work out, with the coach. And uh, but I still was forever thankful and grateful. Uh, first year of college, uh, got the experience of being away from home. And yes, I met a lot of great people and had a great time. So. Then after that year, excuse me, then after that year, came back home, uh, Palomar College, shout out to coach. Uh, just a great experience uh, on another level from freshman year to sophomore year, the program uh, that she has running there, just on a whole nother level, intense, uh, know how to win, uh, just uh, phenomenal, I say. But yeah, I had a great time there. Uh, only get to do two years of junior college, so my second year wrapped up. After that, uh, extremely gracious, you feel. Didn't think, uh, you know, kind of counting myself out. Like, got some offers here and there. Uh, NIIA, uh, just a couple schools, smaller schools, uh, smaller divisions. Uh, great coaches and stuff, but uh, I was, you know, thinking, praying, like, God, you know, I want to experience what it's like, you know, to continue to play, but if I can, let me play, you know, on a higher, on a higher scale, maybe not at the very top, but on a higher scale, so I was gracious, very thankful to uh, shout out to Coach, Coach Dixon, forever uh, changed my life, you feel uh, you know, I was very thankful to receive a scholarship from her, and she believed me. But let me tell y'all this. God is so good that my freshman year uh, of college, I actually met her. Uh, maybe I'll put in a clip. But she's not in this clip, but we was in a Popeye's. It was after uh, our game. We, I believe freshman year, we made it to Sweet 16. So... We was uh, at a Popeye's in Texas, and I guess she was out there scouting, and uh, we, I guess she has seen our game, but uh, we was in a Popeye's. Uh, she ended up coming in. She was with one of her assistant coaches then, one or two of her assistant coaches. They came in, and uh, she was talking to us, and she was like, she told me, oh, you know, I like your play or whatever and stuff like that, and talking to the coach and saying, you know, we're going to come back and get her. So, funny thing is, this is how God worked, you feel. God worked. Uh, she ended up t telling me this, though. She came back trying to look for me my sophomore year. And uh, I ended up going back to Palomar. Well, I ended up going to a different school. So, uh, I was no longer there. The coach ha would ha could get in contact with me, but he never... Uh, 
you know, reached out and said, hey, you know, the coach came back to look for you. He worried about his team and his people there. So he never even told me any of this. But, uh, you know, we ended up doing real well sophomore year. We made it to uh, the tournament. I believe it was like the Elite Eight or something. We made it pretty far. She ended up seeing my film and then uh, was able to get in contact with me and saying, yeah, we was, you know, we was looking for you. And, you know, I try to come back and, you know, get you, but, you know, you wasn't there no more at the, at the same school. So, but anyways, like I told you, God is so good. So she ended up uh, giving me a scholarship to go to Jackson State University. That's how I ended up there. And let me tell you, by far, I had such an amazing time there. It was, you know, She's a phenomenal player. She's uh, fearless, and she plays on both sides of the ball. She steals the ball, she scores the ball, she'll guard their best player, and uh, she's just uh, a baller. Just uh, remarkable, I say. Amazing. So many words, like, I can't explain it. The best, uh, you know, time in college I've, I've had. Was able to spend uh, two years there. All right, so last year. Finally graduated 2019, Jackson State University. The I love, you feel? But finally graduated. Um, now, graduation's over. Me, I love the game of basketball, so I was like, you know, I want to be able to continue my career. I want to be able to play professionally. The goal and the dreams, you know, making it to the WNBA, or, you know, playing on the biggest stage, the the best in the world, I guess, is a, uh, the WNBA, NBA, you feel. <clears throat> but there's an alternative, making it overseas, and you can be playing with top uh, competition too. It depends. There's all different levels of skill level overseas. You can go to lower teams, higher teams, in between, a little bit of everything. But, you know, I was thankful enough to uh, finally get this deal. But... I did attend, <clears throat> I did attend three combines to uh, try to get an agent because at first, you know, I was trying to see like, okay, do I need an agent? This is all new to me. So like I said, my first year here, I'm seeing like, oh, do I need an agent? Can I just reach out to teams? It wasn't as easy as I thought, but like, I was thankful for uh, guidance. Like some people, some players I knew, you know, they were playing overseas and they've experienced playing overseas. And uh, I was asking like, you know, how did you make it overseas? Some of them, oh, I got agents. Some of them, oh, I, you know, did it on my own. Like I have friends and I reached out to them. So I tried, you know, I was trying to do that. But in the meanwhile, fresh out of college, uh, fresh done, finished the season. Uh, the first combine came around. I attended that, you know, got a feel for it. Then a couple uh, couple months after that, another combine, another combine came around. I attended that. Uh, it was out. Well, okay, I attended two combines. Uh, they were both in Florida. I attended two of them. One was like, you know, top schools and stuff like that. And then the other one was a little bit of everything. You had the lower schools, you had your uh, bigger schools in between. So it was all around. But the second one I went to, it was like some higher, well-known names, colleges and top, in the top 20 colleges, uh, some girls coming from there. So it was really good competition and stuff. So I went to that one. I did meet, out of all that, well, I met one agent and he was like, I don't really know. He didn't have no website and he didn't have no, you know, players that I can, you know, reach out to. And, you know, how do you like this uh, person as an agent and, you know, stuff like that. But I was told that's something you should look for when, uh, you know, signing to a new agent. So I was just like, okay. Then uh, turn around after graduation, May, uh, I graduate and, uh, there's another combine, first year annual. Shout out to Driven Elite. I went to their combine and was able to attend that one, and I had a great time at that one. I uh, was able to showcase my skills a little bit, 
and uh, after that, a couple months, I'm gonna say a couple months, cause that was in May. So around that time, it took a couple months to, uh, y'all see the light is going down. But anyways, it took, I hope y'all can still see me. I, I think y'all can still see me, let's see, yeah. But uh, it took a couple months and then after that, uh, I finally got an agent that reached out to me. Well, okay, from that, the agent reached out to me was the offer. The offer that they gave me, I don't know if I could say it. Well, I can't say it, you feel? The offer they gave me was extremely low. So I was like, uh, there's no way I'm gonna take this. Well, sometimes you gotta make sacrifices, but I couldn't see myself making that sacrifice, going way across the water and uh, taking so little. So I was like, uh, I'm gonna have to pass on this one. So after I passed on that one, y'all, this might be a little boring, you feel, but the other stuff, the other content I'm going to bring you is going to be a lot better. And uh, I just want to tell y'all how I got here. So then once I, once I get that out the way, we're going to start, uh, you know, showing y'all my lifestyle over here, showing y'all how I'm living over here, showing y'all just uh, kind of a day to day and uh, hopefully, you know, give y'all some content of, uh, some of the top things there is to do out here but back to my story uh, like I said okay I'm getting all mixed up okay so then finally you know I thought oh, okay my second offer came and I maybe I should have took up on it and all that but I end up I didn't uh, some time went by and then I finally got this offer and I was like I thought about it like mm should I take this? And I was just like, well, you know, the other offer took, you know, from my first to my second offer, it took a long time. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try to get my foot in the door. And that's what I was told by a lot of people. Try to get your foot in the door. And then from there, you can try to get more money or, you know, it's only my rookie season. So I got to basically produce and put myself out there, put numbers up, uh, show my worth, show my value that way my pay can increase so boom i took the deal and i was excited from there uh you know i just thank god i was like i really i really uh you know i was kind of down i'm gonna say down like uh maybe you know maybe this ain't for me but i loved it so i was i just kept believing like maybe you know if it is for me it'll work out you feel so it ended up working out and now i'm here i'm loving it and I am going to bring y'all content from my experience. This is going to be good for me as well because I'm going to be able to go back and look like, okay, my first year I did this, I did that. This is how I was living out there. So <clears throat> I can't wait to, you know, just cover as much as I can. So y'all have a blessed day, wonderful day. Let me know what y'all want to see out here, what y'all want me to do. What do y'all want to know about life out here? And uh, would y'all ever come visit? Would y'all, have y'all ever decided or thought about, you know, traveling across the world, even if it's for a vacation? Where would you want to go? Or what is uh, a country that you would want to see? Or if you've been out the country, let me know what was your favorite country you went to. All right, y'all. And to uh, all my coaches, uh, Coach McAdams, Coach Marshall, Coach Dixon, Coach Reed, all the assistant coaches I've had along this journey. Uh, I know, uh, you know, I haven't been the easiest player to work with or uh, to coach. But I'm thankful for all the coaches that have put up with me and have uh, gave me an opportunity and uh, allowed me to be a part of their team. So I just wanted to throw that in there real quick. And uh, yeah.